If you've had quotes put together for solar that left you a little shell-shocked, you may be wondering how solar panels are priced. Hello friends, and welcome back to another Drone Quote episode. I'm your host, Sinue Montoya. In this video, I'll share with you the variables that make up the cost of solar panel systems. I'll start by asking you questions to consider that play a significant role in how much your solar panel system will cost. How much electricity do you currently use and how much would you like to use? How many solar panels you'll need will be directly proportional to how much electricity you currently use. Also, suppose you are conservatively using electricity, in which case, if you install solar, you should properly account for the additional usage that will take place. A good steward of your best interests will ask you the right questions to make recommendations relative to your unique electricity usage habits. Ultimately, the amount of electricity you will need in the future will dictate the number of panels and cost. How much power can your current electric panel handle? Depending on the number of panels you need, the electric service panel, also known as the breaker box, may need to be upgraded. Homes with smaller breaker boxes are more likely to need an upgrade, and as a result, this would have an impact on the overall cost of your solar panel installation. What is your roof made of, and how is it laid out? If your roof is made of composition shingles, that will save you a small amount on the installation cost because this roof type requires less time and effort. This means that two identical 5 kilowatt systems installed on a comp roof or a clay tile roof will have different costs. Regarding your roof layout, if it happens to be facing south and you live in the northern hemisphere, you will need fewer panels than if your roof was facing a different direction, especially north. Beyond the roof orientation, if your roof has a lot of vents and you can install over them, it will cost more than if you had an ample wide open roof. What is the age of your roof? This question is essential because the age of your roof is critical to a positive experience in owning solar. If your roof is nearing its end of life, it would be a detriment for you to install solar panels on an old roof. Doing so would cost you future monies in removing the solar panels to re-roof. The right thing to do when an older roof is present would be to replace the roof before installation which of course will impact the overall cost of your solar panels. The questions I just posed relate to variables outside the actual cost of solar panels. Now that you understand site conditions and their influence on solar cost, let's move forward to other variables. The cost of finding new customers also plays a role in how much you pay for solar panels. Take for example, a company that deploys door knocking teams to generate sales. Sales organizations must make up the sunk cost of that time and effort of all the people that said no by increasing the cost of panels to the people that said yes. This is also true of companies that spend thousands of dollars advertising online. A good way to illustrate this is when you see a company offering you big rebates for going solar. They usually sound like, get paid to go solar. Well, sir, your payment is built into the cost. One other variable that too often plays a part in the cost of solar panels is greed. I hate to say this because it's the industry I work in, but there are less than honest solar salespeople out there. Look at what I came across as I was putting together this video. In this example, the gentleman here bragged about making $17,000 on a 12 kilowatt system. I go into more detail in the ugly truth of solar video here, but the gist of this point is buyer beware. Now let's talk about the solar panels themselves. Like anything else, you can buy entry level, mid range, and high end. Solar panels are no different. I don't need to go into too much detail here because now we are speaking about the panels themselves. But you know, if you're buying a Toyota Camry, you will pay less than if you're buying a 5 Series BMW. The same goes for solar inverters. If you're choosing to buy the newest Enphase microinverters, you should expect to pay more than if you're buying the Solar Edge inverter system for your solar panels. Let me throw in one last question here. Why are some solar panels so cheap? If you're getting an unbelievable price on solar, you should take a moment to question the offer's validity. The reviews you see here illustrate my point. You can read how customers were offered lower pricing due to abysmal service during ownership. You shouldn't expect a company to offer you rock bottom pricing while also being around to offer great service after installation. 
especially given that the company's revenue is typically only earned for the sale of the solar panel system. I hope this shines some light on why solar panels come off as expensive and why two very similar systems may have different prices that seem out of sync. Solar panels are one of those things where each installation or quote is truly unique. The drone quote model is 100% online and allows us to keep our cost as low as possible. And while we aren't the lowest price option, we tend to be on the lower side. Our business is to go above and beyond for our customers in all aspects of buying solar. To see what the experience of going solar with DroneQuote is like, go to DroneQuote.net. And for more educational content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Hasta la vista, baby!